This honestly changed my life. Woo! It's beautiful. So I ended up getting one of my dream bags that I always wanted. Look at the packaging, it's so cute. Really hydrated my skin. My skin felt super smooth. It's literally one fourth of the price at least. It's like cat sushi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back from Japan. I had an amazing, amazing time. We went for Dom's birthday and also my first time in Japan. I posted my story that I was shopping at Japanese department stores and I had a lot of DM asking me to post a haul. So I thought I would share what I got from Japan. So this is gonna be a very, very long video because I got lots of stuff. Without further ado, let's start with skincare. The first thing I got was tons of sheet masks. The Lululemon ones had so many different options. They come with seven sheet masks and I believe they were less than five dollars I also heard amazing things about these rice sheet masks and I tried it myself in Japan and they really hydrated my skin My skin felt super smooth. So highly recommend checking it out next up We got the Momo Puri line and this was highly highly recommended. It's an affordable skincare line that's in Japan That's really popular you get it at most department stores and I really really wanted to try their most barrier lotion Which won tons of awards. It's super super hydrating I put it on at night before I put on any other product and it kind of smells like peach, which I love. I haven't tried the essence yet, but once I do get to it, I'll let you guys know how I like it. Next up, we got the Viral Skin Conditioner. I saw this all over Asian TikTok, and I knew I had to give it a try. I love that it dries up in your skin super fast, and it feels really, really nice. This is one of my favorite travel makeup wipes. It wipes everything off, even waterproof makeup. You also don't have to wash it off afterwards, which I love, especially on the plane. It's half the price what I pay for in Taiwan, so I had to stock up. Next, we got sunscreen. And when it comes to sunscreens, there's so many different options there's like a whole aisle filled with sunscreen when i was there i love the skin aqua gel this is so good it dries up super super fast has no scent doesn't leave a white cast it's sph 50 and it's a really great first layer under your makeup this is another really popular brand in Japan department stores for affordable skincare. I got both their serum and their face wash. I've been using their face wash for the past week and it really, really does a good job deep cleaning your skin. The serum has a brightening effect, which I've been using under my eyes, which is really hydrating. And for the price, I highly recommend trying it out. Dom wanted a face wash specializing in blackheads, so I decided to try out the Cleansing Balm Black. I heard really good things about it. He really likes it so far, so I think I'll give it a try sometime this week. And if it works, I will definitely let you know. The last thing I got are these Susai face wash. I've never tried them before, but I heard amazing, amazing things when it comes to cleaning your pores and deep cleaning. So I thought these will be really good when I travel or when I want to really deep clean on my face. Next up, we got body care. The first thing I want to share are these Johnson skin lotion and they smell so good. I'm not a big fan of strong perfumes, so I love scented lotions. It gives a more subtle smell while hydrating your skin. My favorite is for sure the mineral gel, and it dries really fast on your skin. It feels really nice, and the scent does last all day, so I highly recommend if you also are like me and you don't like strong perfumes. Summer's coming up, and I have really long hair, so sometimes I get a little bit of back knee, and I heard really good things about this back spray. So I'm gonna try it out and hopefully it works. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. One thing that I stocked up on is this Bior UV sunscreen. It smells unreal, it dries so fast, it doesn't have that sticky residue. I actually got six of these because I'm gonna be giving them away to my friends and family because I knew they would love it. I'm going back to Taiwan soon this summer for something very exciting. And one thing about Taiwan in the summer is that it is super, hot and sticky. So when I saw that they had all these like cold wipes, I knew I had to grab them just so we can try them when we're in Taiwan. They instantly cool you down, they say by three degrees and it lasts for around one to six hours. We walked so, so, so much when we're in Japan. I think I did 25,000 to 30,000 steps every single day. So my feet were dying. And then when I saw these feet masks and these calf masks at the department store, I knew how to try them out and they honestly saved me in Japan. So I had to stock up. They have different options when it comes to their calves. There's the cooling one and there's also the heated one. I love the cooling one because it was kind of hot. But I do think the heated ones will be really, really good in the winter. I also got the steaming ones for your shoulders and your back. And I'm going to be putting these on actually during my period because I think it will really help with the cramps. Unfortunately, we missed Sakura season while we were there just by a week. However, it was still allergy seasons and Dom was sneezing like crazy. We tried out different allergy medicines, which nothing really worked except for this nose spray. So this is only 
$15 and you spray it in your nose and it really helps with the allergies. He says within 10 minutes, you were instantly refreshed. You only had to spray it one to two times a day and it was perfect. I also got a few things for the mouth. So this is a really popular mouthwash. I've tried it in Canada before. It was really pricey and I really did like it. And when I was in Japan, it was half the price. So I got the honey flavor, which apparently is really, really good for cavity prevention. I also got a mouth spray that's super small. You can leave in your bag and it's a quick spray. So this is also another thing. These are two gold mouthwash. They're individually packed. So I thought this would really be good for traveling or when I'm on the plane. And this is super, super, super popular in Asia. I've never tried it out, but apparently if you put it on your canker sore, it heals overnight. So I thought I'll bring one back to try and if it works, I'll definitely stock up next time I'm back. So I wear contacts every single day and I am actually negative 890. So technically without my contacts, I can't see and my eyes do get dry sometimes. So I highly recommend trying out this eye drop. It instantly wakes you up. It actually has like a minty scent so wake you right up and also get rid of the redness in your eye it's actually really popular in asia i saw the lady in front of me she grabbed 20 to bring back next up we got hair care and i am really sad because we didn't have enough space in our luggage or else i would bring back so much more hair care but the first thing is actually their hair oil first of all look at the packaging it's so cute and it also smells amazing it doesn't leave your hair too oily my favorite favorite hair product of all time is this dry shampoo this honestly changed my life my friend gave it to me right before i went on my trip in japan and i was shook at how well it works normally i don't like dry shampoo because i find that they don't really work on my hair or i feel like after a few hours it flattens down but first of all this is really small so it's travel friendly you just have to rub it a little bit on your hair and it gives you instant volume so i left it in my bag every time i felt like my hair was a little bit oily i would touch it up but it does last around like five to six hours which i love and it doesn't clog up your pores so highly recommend grabbing this out of everything you see today you'll love this. So the first thing I saw when I walked into the department store was this hair mask, which I actually use every single day and I pay around 20 to $25 in Canada. And it was only $6 for two. I think that's probably what sparked me to buy all these things because then that's when I realized the huge price difference. Next, we got stuff that I was using the whole time while I was traveling in Japan. And next time I go to Japan, I think I'm not gonna bring any more makeup and skincare with me because they have so many options and they're so affordable that I didn't really even use my own stuff. First stop is this refresher spray. So once again, like I said, I don't like strong perfume. This one actually matches really well with the hair as well as a lotion. So I grabbed it. One spray lasts you all day. It gives you like fresh after shampoo smell, which I highly love. This I believe was only $3. I also got deodorant and I really liked it because it was scent free and it worked really well. But I will say if you are someone who sweats a lot, you may rather use like men deodorant. I think it'll work better than these ones, but I love that how small it is and how compact it is, which is really travel friendly. I'm also obsessed with this jelly SPH sunscreen. Once again, it's really travel friendly. It literally smells like pineapple candy. And I just use it throughout the day to kind of like touch up on my hands or any skin that's showing to touch up on my sunscreen. Once again, can we talk about the packaging of Japanese products? It's so cute and it smells delicious. I also got this honey stick, which is really good for flyaways. I love the brush is so big, so it's really easy. Once again, you can travel with it. You can leave it in your bag, brush it. That way you can kind of remove any flyaways. One thing you'll notice when you go to Japan is that everyone has perfect hair. And now that I went to depart their department store, I finally know why, because they have amazing products like this that smells amazing, affordable, and it works really, really well. Honestly, it smells so good. It smells like you just finished conditioning your hair. You just came from the salon. I also got lots of makeup from Japan. And out of all these, the one I loved the most was definitely the finishing powder. This prevented my face from looking oily all day without looking cakey. It's also super light, comes with a mirror, so it's really easy to travel with if you want to touch up your makeup throughout the day. If you like shimmery eyeshadows, I highly recommend checking out Japanese department stores because they have really pigmented eyeshadows that are super small and cute. So once again, they're travel friendly and they're super, super pigmented. It leaves you that beautiful glitter on your eye. I love it, love it, love it so much. If you love kitchen appliances, you have to go to Kapabashi Street. I'm sorry for pronouncing it wrong, but that street is dedicated basically to B2B kitchen supplies. And there's so many different things that you can buy there. So first off, I got myself a really good supply of bento boxes. I love Japanese bento boxes. And now that the weather is getting better in Vancouver, I'm going to be doing a lot more picnics and bento box series on my channel. So stay tuned for that. There were so many different options. And when it comes to Japanese bento boxes, the price difference between Canada and Japan 
is insane. It's literally one fourth of the price at least. And the quality was so good. You have so many different options. I think I went to in total 20 stores and you can really shop around and see what you like. So the first bento I got is this big one. And this one I do love because it's really easy to clean. And I think this will be really perfect when we go traveling for picnics. You can fit lots of stuff. The next one is a smaller version. It's more of a square. I love that it's elevated too. So I love the look of it. Same thing with the inside materials. Really, really easy to clean. And I knew I wanted wooden bento boxes and I couldn't decide which ones I wanted. I wanted something that was definitely a little bit more sturdier, a little bit better quality and it has a nice coating so you can actually wash it and use it. So I ended up getting this round big one, which I've never really seen wooden bento boxes that are this thick and this much depth that you can fit space in. So I really love this one. And of course I have to get this super cute wooden bento box and it comes with a separator on the inside too so you can add in different dishes. Let me know what type of picnic food you guys wanna see and I will get filming with these soon. Another thing that I got was high quality Japanese chopsticks. I got this really beautiful chopstick holder and there are tons of dedicated chopstick shops on that street. So this chopstick that I got is actually dishwasher friendly. They have tons of different options. Some of them aren't, some of them are. And since I'm gonna be doing the picnic series i thought i had to get this super beautiful chopstick holder bag which will be really convenient when i'm am holding all my stuff when we go on picnics also how cute are these chopstick holders i knew i had to get them it's like cat sushi one thing that i always see on japanese youtube channels are these really beautiful bamboo mats and i knew i had to get them i got two different sizes for two different pots this was quite affordable it was five dollars and i believe this one is eight dollars i also got another bamboo i guess plate or i think people usually wash soap and noodle with these but i'm gonna be washing vegetables with this or placing washed vegetables on these it's so beautiful i've never seen this before in canada and i couldn't really find it too when i went to taiwan so i knew i had to grab one there were tons of ceramic shops and when i went back to taiwan this time i bought tons of them back so i knew i couldn't buy too much because one they're really really hard to bring back and two i already have tons so i was a little bit more picky this time but i found this beautiful bowl the pattern is honestly so beautiful they had so many different options i also got this waterproof bag which is perfect for bento boxes and also beautiful fabrics that can also wrap the bento boxes with can you tell i'm a crazy cat lady at this point last but not least when it comes to my huge kitchen haul is japanese knife i knew i wanted to get a japanese knife i already got myself a very nice knife for my birthday so i just wanted one to really treat myself there are so many different knife shops across the street i end up getting it from Sasuke Knife and they actually have a shop in Portland too that I noticed after. I got to try out a lot of different knives and this is the one that I ended up with which I love. Woo, it's beautiful. The major thing that I noticed was Japanese knife is a lot lighter so it's a lot easier to use. However, one thing is because if you look at the blade, they say that Japanese knife only goes up to here whereas a regular knife goes all the way to the back which is why it's heavier but that also means that it does break a little bit easier. So you wanna be a little bit more gentle when it comes to using it. But they did say that there's tons of shops in Japan that actually fix this Japanese knife if it ever does fall apart. So we can always bring it back to Japan when we visit. This knife was definitely more on the pricier side, but once again, compared to if you were to get Japanese knives here in Western countries, it's about half of the price. Next up are these super cute random knickknacks that I got throughout my trip. This is literally what I mean when I say that Japanese has the cutest stuff and there's something about Japan that makes me just say, take my money, because normally I don't buy all these different knickknacks, but they were so cute that I couldn't resist. My favorite one for sure is either the super cute Dotoro, ah, and I'm also the biggest crayon shin labi shaoxing fan, so I had to get them too. And of course, I love cats. I actually went to a cat temple that was filled with cats, and it was so, so, so cute. And I grabbed tons of different stuff there, and I also grabbed a cat that was drinking tea. Most places in Japan do accept card, but I do find that they prefer cash. So if you do go to Japan, make sure you bring cash because a lot of these random small business shops, they only take cash. All the department stores do take card. Like how cute is this? So next up, we got Dom's birthday gift. And something about Dom is that he loves whiskey and Japanese has amazing, amazing whiskey. So when it comes to bringing alcohol back, it's a little bit more difficult. So we ended up getting them both at the airport. The first one we got is actually Johnny Walker Blue Label. And this is a Japan only edition. This is probably the most beautiful bottle of whiskey I have ever seen. The design on it is crazy. The dragon blue print is just so, so, so beautiful. 
These whiskeys are definitely more of a collection whiskey. I think he said he's not gonna drink them until his 80th birthday. So we're just more so collecting them just because we think they're beautiful and we like to leave them in our bar. The next one is a super, super, super hard to find whiskey, which is the Hibiki 21. So if you go to the airport, you'll notice that every single Hibiki 21 is sold out. And Dom was really sad and he almost gave up. And before I went to board, we went to this one shop right beside our gate and they had one more left in the whole airport and we got it. Once again, the design is beautiful and we actually did get to try the Hibiki 21 when we're in Japan and it's such a beautiful, delicious whiskey taste. It's almost impossible to find in North America and even if you do, it's basically triple the price. If you like whiskey, I highly recommend when you go to Japan's airport to try to find the Hibiki 21. So moving on to some big. So normally I buy myself one big gift a year. But somehow on this trip, I splurged and I got myself two. So the first one is this super, super cute Gucci bag that I got at Harajuku. I love cute things. And when I saw this bag, I instantly fell in love. On top of it being cute, it's also just a really, really good bag. It's designed really well. It's easy to open and close. And on top of that, the bag is actually really light. So after the Gucci bag, I was like, I can't buy any more bags. So I stopped shopping in Harajuku at any designer shop because I was like, that was my gift already. But when we're at the airport, I don't know why, but we decided to wander into Chanel. So while we were in Chanel, I decided to go in because I thought I would just browse around and they actually had this one bag that I've been looking for for the past four years. So I ended up getting one of my dream bags that I always wanted, the Chanel wallet on chain. I actually don't have any black bags and this has always been a bag that I always wanted because it is a classic, it's beautiful, it goes well with everything. I have a lot of gold jewelry too, so I thought the gold will really well match well with all my jewelry and just my clothes. The bag itself is beautiful and because it is duty free, you also save on taxes too. But I instantly fell in love. I tried it on, there's so many different options you can wear. You can wear it cross body, you can make it shorter just on your shoulder. But this is definitely the bag of my dreams. I was so happy and I felt so lucky that I was able to find it. Um, maybe I'm just convincing myself, but I thought it was meant to be just because like I said, it's been four years, I still couldn't find it. And finally I found it. So I ended up splurging. So no more <laughs> bags or gifts for myself for the next two years but I am so, so, so happy. So that's it for my Japan haul. I'll try my best to link as many of the products in the description below. However, like I said, there is a huge price difference between Japan and US. So if you do go to Japan, I highly recommend picking up some of these items. Let me know if I missed anything. And I also post a bunch of restaurants and food recommendations on my Instagram stories. So make sure to go check that out too. I am so happy to be back and I will be back with more cooking videos next week. So make sure to stay subscribed and tune in. See you next time.